a very pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Louisville, Illinois, North Clay High School, the home of the Lady Cardinals, where tonight in National Trail Conference action, the Lady Cardinals uh, host the uh, Neoga Indians in what should be a dandy matchup. Both teams in tonight with winning records coming off, well, relative success in their uh, recent uh, Thanksgiving tournaments. Not probably the amount of success both would have liked, but uh, they, they, they had some success. The Neoga Indians went 2-0 and in their tournament. Uh, didn't get the opportunity to play three games. It was a round robin, but had a JV team playing. Got a chance to speak earlier with Kim Romack, the head coach of the 4-1 and Neoga Indians. And she said, well, Bruce, I tell you, it's – it's just, you know, you, it's difficult finding places to play and finding folks to play, and, and especially early in the season. That's just kind of the way things are. It is still very early in the season. As Neoga comes in, as I said, with a 4-1 and one record, they're taking on Denise Givens' North Clay Cardinals squad with a 4-3 and three record. Uh, they, uh, went to, they took fourth place in their tournament last week. And uh, um, Coach Givens said, well, Bruce, you know, doggone some of those things we thought we could have won. Had a couple of close games, uh, close losses, but uh, try to get back on track here tonight. Where, the uh, again, the uh, Indians at 4-1, and one, the Cardinals at 4-3. and three. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? As uh, no junior varsity contest tonight. Uh, the uh, Cardinals with numbers issues, and I think looking at the squad and looking at the total of kids on the Neoga team, they've got numbers issues as well. So it might be one of those uh, cases where no JV game possible tonight. That is, uh, it's a shame, but it's kind of rampant in uh, Southern Illinois uh, girls basketball this season. Uh, folks uh, running just a, 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 a just a, a bit shy of kids, so if uh, you're uh, if you're a child or if you're if, if you know kids who are playing basketball, by all means, it's a wonderful sport. See if you can't get them to uh, stick it out and uh, play at the high school level. It is a joy; they'll have a good time. Uh, North Clay with some starters returning uh, under uh, they only lost a Suzuki, I believe, uh, as a starter from last year, as uh, Matia Price, Alexis Van Dyke. And uh, Maya Ballard back as the heart of the offense, as well as Sidney Kincaid will uh, do plenty for the uh, North Clay Lady Cardinals. And Leah Weatherholt will be asked to, to do a lot inside for the Cardinals as Neoga's got some size. They have a Haley Campbell senior center. She is 5 feet 11 inches tall. And uh, she will be joined down on the blocks by 5'9", Adelie Osborne. And uh, they're three senior starters for the Neoga Indians. And uh, the Neoga Indians will present all kinds of problems tonight for the Lady Cardinals. We will have our national anthem and then uh, starting lineups. And we'll get underway here from Louisville right after uh, the national anthem.
the final strains of our national anthem. That's a pretty good recording. I wonder if uh, it's probably the University of Illinois recording on uh, that one. Should be a fun one here tonight. Our uh, starting lineups, the Nioga Indians in their red visiting jerseys with red shorts. They will send out at one guard. It's Allison Sampson. She is 5 feet 5 inches tall and a senior. She'll be joined by number 23, Gracie Eaton. Eaton, also a senior at 5 feet 7 inches tall. The uh, next one out is number 35, Adelie Osborne. She's a 5'9 junior. She'll be joined by number 10, Bryn Richards, a junior at 6 feet 1 inches tall. And rounding out the starting lineup, Haley Campbell, a 5 feet 11 inch senior. So big lineup for Neoga. 5'5", 5'7", 5'9", 5'11", and 6'1". As they uh, send out three juniors, pardon me, three seniors and two juniors. For the North Clay Cardinals, under new head coach Denise Givens, they send out at one guard, Matia Price. She is a junior. She'll be joined in the backcourt by Alexis Van Dyke. We're always looking for Alexis to do well. She's a co-op student out at Wabash. Number four is Sydney Kincaid. She is a uh, junior for the uh, Cardinals. Three-year starter Maya Ballard is next. She is uh, number 11. She is a senior. And Leah Weatherholt, a junior, number 30. Rounds out the starting lineup for the Cardinals, again under the uh, auspices of Denise Givens. Neoga coached by Kim Romack. The officials are out on the court as well. It's a good crew, folks. These folks have, uh, these officials have, uh, well, I know Terry Chapman has, has officiated at the state level. I believe uh, Ryan Chapman has officiated at the sectional final level, maybe super sectional level by now. And, Nick Snodl has also done sectional level, so a good set of officials here tonight. North Clay wins the tip to Maya Ballard. Over to Van Dyke, her first three-point shot of the game will not go. Tries to fire the rebound back down to Ballard. It's loose, and it'll be a held ball. It'll go to the Neoga Indians here on the first held ball of the contest. I'll quit telling you probably within a week or two, but uh, the foul... Rules are a little bit different this year if you haven't seen much high school basketball. I'll uh, tell, talk about it as the game goes on as Allison Sampson hits her first shot of the game. She's a senior and she is a scorer for Neoga. She's a tough customer. 2 nothing. the early lead for the Indians. North Clay goes into a weave out on top. Kincaid hands it off to Price. Price down the left side of the lane, misses the shot. Rebound dragged down by Campbell. Fires it ahead, looking for Sampson. Back outside, three on the way, off the iron uh, from Eaton, and the long rebound picked up by Van Dyke. She heads, cruises down court in a hurry. Uh, just over a minute gone in the first quarter as the three-pointer up and no good. From Price, a held ball. We'll give it this time to a North Clay. With uh, just under seven minutes to go here in the first quarter. The new foul rules, they uh, changed the bonus rules in each quarter. As that jumper is no good from Sidney Kincaid. The ball tipped out of bounds. It will remain Neoga basketball. If your team collects five fouls on the fifth foul the other team gets free throws they get two free throws the one and one is gone the one in the bonus is gone it is now a straight two free throw shots if you get to that five fouls and then it cleans up at the start of the next quarter as Haley Campbell good power move to the hoop down the right side of the lane she puts it up and in and it's an early lead for Neoga Neoga and uh, the Cardinals had some real battles last season as uh, Barry Adair coaching the uh, Cardinals would tell, would tell you about at the drop of a hat. They had some good battles. In it comes to Price. Back to Price for three off the back iron. No good. Long rebound, Sampson. 
for Neoga. She'll bring it up by herself against Maya Ballard. Neither team with a very deep bench, so they both need to uh, try to avoid fouls. As a nice cut to the hoop for, for Eaton. Gracie Eaton lays it in, and the three seniors for Neoga are on the board. Cardinals still looking for their first points. In the corner, Kincaid back outside Price around the horn Van Dyke. Ballard's at the high post, and uh, Weatherholt on the block. Nice pass in, but Price couldn't finish. Rebound taken away by the Indians. Tonight's game here and in Salem tonight, the final two games of the uh, week for us at Wabash. It's a beautiful pass to Adley Osborne. She'll put it up and in, and it's a quick 8-0 start. Breeze Central over at Salem. Their varsity contest will start in about an hour as they started their JV around 6 o'clock. So you can watch this one and then turn the channel down a couple of uh, notches and watch that one as well tonight. Who wants to watch football? Jumper on the way off the iron from Price. She gets it back, fires it across. The follow is good. Sydney Kincaid gets the uh, Cardinals on the board. They needed that hoop. Didn't want to fall too far behind as Campbell puts up a spinner, and that's a nice one from 12. Haley Campbell with her second bucket. Timeout on the court. 4.17 to go here in the first. We'll take it as well. Back after this word. Going beyond the expected. It's what they do at Pekin Insurance, and it's been their way of doing business since 1921. It's service that goes the extra mile and product that provides the flexibility to meet all of today's insurance needs and tomorrow's as well. Stop by and see the agents at North Wayne Insurance Agency in downtown Flora and Sisney. They will provide the financial protection and peace of mind that you need and deserve. North Wayne Insurance in Pekin, beyond the expected. Good start for the uh, Neoga Indians under head coach Kim Romack. The four and one Indians. Uh, lead by eight here in the early going. As Maya Ballard will bring it across the timeline. Off to Matia Price. Gets a screen from Van Dyke. Looks into the corner. Doesn't like it. Back out to Ballard. She'll fire a three. Off the iron. No good. Rebound Campbell. Campbell has it knocked away. Gets it back. Fires it ahead to Richards and she has it stolen by Ballard. A long pass ahead. The Cardinals trying to take advantage of potential speed. And a blocking foul is going to be called against Eaton. That is the first foul of the game. Eaton picks it up for the Indians. And Ballard will toss in to Kincaid. Around the horn it goes. Van Dyke thought about it. Now she'll fire. It's off the back iron. North Clay uh, just a little cold from beyond the arc. They've taken quite a few threes and haven't been able to hit any of them. Down low to Sampson. Back outside. Jumper from Richards is long and uh, no good. Out of bounds. It will go back to North Clay. Big slew of games next week here on Wabash Catch TV. I'll go over the schedule for you here in just a few minutes. Jumper from Ballard a bit short. Rebound off the legs of Ava Fleener having entered the game at the timeout. Fleener just a sophomore. As Sampson brings it across the timeline. Guarded out top by Ballard. To the right wing, they look down low, find Campbell. Campbell, nice move to the hoop. Power move up and no good. Gets it back, up and in. Haley Campbell is the real deal. At 5 feet 11, not the tallest player on the court. That would be Bryn Richards at 6'1". But boy, oh boy, Haley Campbell plays a big game of ball. That ball knocked away by Richards. To Campbell, up ahead to Richards. She gathers and has her shot blocked by Van Dyke. 
Van Dyke sprinted down court, able to get there in time to make the good block. Pass inside intended for Fleener, gets tipped away, and another steal. Richards up to Sampson, inside to Campbell. She misses it, puts it back, misses the second one as well. She'd like to have that trip back. It's 12-2 in favor of Neoga. Ballard drives to the hoop, and she's going to get hacked by Sampson. That'll be team foul number two. And number one against Allison Sampson. And Maya Ballard, yet to score, will head to the free throw line for two shots. Weatherholt, Leah Weatherholt will check back into the game. Carly Gwynn checks in as well as Ballard hits them both. Campbell looks inside, finds Richard. Nice cut to the hoop. She is fouled. She'll head to the line. It looks like Alexis Van Dyke is going to pick up the first foul of the game for North Clay. And that does send Bryn Richards to the free throw line, B-R-Y-N-N. She misses the first of two. She hits the second. Now to a nine-point lead. There's been as many as ten. North Clay trying to climb back into the game before they fall too far behind. Into the corner, Matia Price looks inside, has Weatherholt to her left, to her right, and the shot won't fall. Able to get clear of Campbell, got a good shot, good look at it, just couldn't get it to fall. Minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Nice pass to Campbell. She's too far from the hoop, and she but she gets draws the foul, and uh, that will go against Matia Price, her first number two against North Clay. This a conference matchup as uh, most teams waiting until this week to start their conference action. Beautiful pass across from Simpson to uh, Richards, and she couldn't handle it. North Clay with the takeaway. Price to the hoop, and she is fouled, I think. Bryn Richards just picked up her first. She does. And Matia Price will head to the line where the Cardinals already two for two. Three for three. That's the thing. When you face a bigger team like that, you got to be aggressive to the hoop and try to draw fouls. Price takes advantage of that. It's a both. It's a seven-point lead. Cross on the dribble, Adley Osborne. Gives it back to Campbell. Campbell thought about baseline and a little bit of a shove. Will draw the first foul of the game on Haley Campbell. Leah Weatherholt got up a little bit slow, but she's fine heading down the court. As Alexis Van Dyke will bring it back across. Weatherhold heads to the bench. She may have been dinged up a little bit there on that uh, knock. 55 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Ballard on the dribble. Leaves it for Alexis Van Dyke. Nice runner down the middle. Can't get it. Gets the rebound. Tries to get it to Price. Off her nose. Got to keep your eyes open around Alexis. Across with it. Callie Reynolds for Neoga. Off to Richards, back outside to Campbell. 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Richards makes a move into the lane. Her uh, runner won't go. Rebound loose on the floor. It will remain 
Neoga basketball. As Eaton and Sampson check back in. Richards and Osborne head to the seat. Head to the bench. With 17 seconds to go in the quarter. Uh, it comes in a jumper, no good. Nice board by Campbell. She puts it up and in. Haley Campbell dominating the rebounds tonight. Three seconds to go. Van Dyke at the buzzer. And she hits the first three-pointer of the game for the uh, Cardinals. After one, it is Neoga 15, North Clay 9. Back after these. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with a company that lives and works in the same community that you do. This is Aaron Cummins, your local Clay County FS Propane Specialist with South Central FS. South Central is a nine-county cooperative with highly trained employees that are dedicated to providing our residential, commercial, and agricultural customers a safe and reliable propane supply. Contact your local South Central FS Propane Specialist or visit us online at southcentralfs.com. At your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville, you can count on experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, the Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville carry a large inventory of Napa products for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced associates understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa Know How at your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville. 15 to 9 the score after the first quarter. At that, with that late bucket by Neoga. As uh, Abby Springmeyer in the truck doing a great job, but it's 15, Abby. And with uh, some confusion to start the quarter, I thought that the ball was going to be, I thought it was, they must not have turned the arrow. They must have forgot to change the arrow because uh, it will be Neoga basketball. The arrow was facing North Clay's way. Uh, but uh, scorekeepers, early in the season for everybody. Cal uh, Campbell has it stolen away by Van Dyke. Up ahead, intended for Price and knocked out of bounds. Van Dyke will toss it in for North Clay. A nice steal by Van Dyke. Outside to Price for three. No good. Nice board, Sampson. Good positioning, able to uh, block out, find her spot. Ballard on her in the man-to-man -man as uh, North Clay plays man-to-man -man pretty much most of the time. Throwing it in for the Indians will be Adley Osborne. A-T-A-L-I-E, like Natalie without the N. It's a pretty name. Samson heads to the hoop and lays it in. Allison Sampson with four. Back to an eight-point lead. Biggest lead of the game was ten. Heading to the hoop. Price finds a way there. Shot won't fall. Rebound. Grabbed by Campbell. Up ahead to Osborne, and she'll bring it across. Picked up by Price. Campbell drops it down for Richards. Bumps into Van Dyke. Van Dyke with the block and the steal. And it's taken away from her by Osborne. It'll be a held ball. It'll go to the uh, Cardinals. Solid crowd in hand for about for a Thursday night. Without a JV game. As Price thought about fire and looks down low for Fleener. Nice pa gather by Ava, but she couldn't get it to drop. And Haley Campbell will bring it across herself. She is fun to watch. She can do it all. Well, I'm kind of waiting to watch her uh, try an outside shot. Osborne drops it down to Campbell. Tough shot over the uh, top from about six. Rebound to North Clay. Van Dyke up to Kincaid. Back to Maya Ballard. Ballard makes a move on Richards. Looks to her right. Finds 
Matia Price, three on the way, off the iron, no good. Rebound to Richards, here come the Indians. Six minutes to go here in the first half. Into the corner, oh, I thought Samson was going to chuck. Oh, and a nice pass inside to Richards, she puts it up and in. Not Samson, that was Eaton over there that I thought was going to shoot. Starting lineup in the game for the Indians as Price with an easy layup gets it knocked away and an easy foul call against Bryn Richards. So Matia Price to the line for two. She has already been there once tonight, now two for three as she hit her first two shots from the free throw line. Just over five and a half minutes to go here on Wabash Catch TV. Missed them both. Campbell with the rebound. Good looking for him. Kind of surprising. Oh, to steal again by Van Dyke. She lays it up and in. Big steal with North Clay Cardinals in his zone press now. Up ahead, Osborne. They find Campbell. Stolen away or knocked away by Ava Fleener. And North Clay's defense picking it up. Down by eight, 19 to 11. And it comes to Allison Sampson. Fires ahead to Haley Campbell. Campbell guarded by Fleener as the uh, Cardinals fall back into the man-to-man. Drop pass down to Eaton. Inside intended for Mallory Henderson. It's knocked away. Mallory Henderson, a 5'7". Junior, I'm guessing. I don't think the uh, the roster for, well, I do know the roster for Nyoga didn't have ages on it. Short bunny won't fall for Osborne, but the follow good for Samson. She has six now. Six for Samson, eight for Campbell. I'll bet you that's the story of the year. As uh, those two with about 65% of the scoring. Jumper up, no good for Price. Here come the Indians. Long pass, knocked away. Taken out of the air by uh, Ballard. And she'll have a freebie. She lays it up and in. Timeout on the court. Taken by the Indians. We'll take it as well. 424 to go in the the, uh, first half. It's an eight-point lead back after this word. Briscoe Surplus Sales on the northeast edge of Flora is your one-stop do-it-all shop. Looking for rugged boots and footwear from great brands like Lacrosse, Rocky, and Carolina? They're there. How about top-notch, small engine parts and service? Briscoe Surplus Sales has it. Whether you're wiring your switches or switching your wiring, Briscoe Surplus Sales has the solution and the know-how to help you get the job done right the first time. Briscoe Surplus Sales, your one-stop do-it-all shop. Coach Romack wanting to uh, make sure her team knows how to deal with this 1-2-1-1 zone press. Osborne will get it in to Eaton. And that's stolen away. Ballard to the hoop. And the quick lay-in. Neoga speeds things up this time, and they're able to get it down court. Sampson misses shot from being too far underneath. And I believe Ana Fle- Ava Fleener. Just picked up a foul. Check that's going to go against Matia Price. It'll be her second first of this quarter against North Clay. So with two fouls, Price will head to the sideline. And Carly Gwynn will check in. Jumper from Sampson, no good. Campbell all over the rebound. Takes it away from her teammate. Says, I'll take that, puts it in. Back up to an eight-point lead for Neoga. Neoga jumped out to an eight-point lead early and then a ten-point lead early, but I tell you what, the uh, press is helping. North Clay climb right back in. Sampson around the horn. Around Kincaid, they look inside. The shot good for Mallory Henderson. She is fouled. She'll head to the free throw line. 
for the and one. And I believe that was Carly Gwynn picking up her first. As Mallory Henderson at the free throw line, the right-hander for the and one. That's good. Bryn Richards will check back in, replacing Henderson. That's about a six-inch uh, upgrade. Jumper on the way from Kincaid, blocked out of the air by uh, Eaton. Richards up ahead to Osborne across the gigantic Cardinal head on the floor. Down low to Campbell, and she travels. Nice job by Ada, Ava Fleener down low, keeping her uh, balance and keeping her spot. Across with it come the Cardinals. Van Dyke to Kincaid off to Ballard. Ballard heads to the block, puts it up from 12, and she hits again. Ballard now with 10, and it's a seven-point game. Quick pass. They beat the press and find Haley Campbell ranging toward the uh, rim, and she knows how to finish. 29 to 8, or 28 to 19, and a steal by Richards up to Sampson. Down low, Osborne, no good, but she's fouled. And Alexis Van Dyke is going to pick up her second, team third. I've talked to some coaches. The uh, thoughts on the new fouling is the uh, new fouling procedures are somewhat mixed. I haven't talked to any officials yet. I need to uh, make a point to do that as Adley Osborne Hits the first of two free throws. Makes it a 10-point lead. Second one on the way. Off the back iron. Rebound to Richards. And Richards went a little too close to the top there. A little over, that's what they used to call over the back. Richards, that'll be number three on her. She'll have to take a seat. I have that as team foul number two with 2.39 to go here in the first half. Neither team in the bonus as yet. I'm still going to call it bonus. Uh, let's see, what, are they, what do they call it in the NBA? Neither, neither team in the penalty yet. I like bonus better. When you're fouled and you get two shots, that's a bonus, right? Down it goes from 14. Beautiful look for Ava Fleener. Her first bucket of the night cuts it to eight. Pass nearly stolen away. It is taken away by Kincaid. Up to Ballard. She hits the hoop, and she is fouled. It's going to be a blocking foul on Allison Sampson, her second, team third. And with two minutes, four seconds to go here in the half, Maya Ballard. Hits the first. Of two. She is three for three, four for four. So here comes Allison Sampson. Down to six again. Well, just a moment ago, Neoga had busted it out to an 11 point lead. Pass inside for Henderson. Back outside. Osborne for two. No good. And that ball knocked away. It will uh, go to the Cardinals. A chance to cut into that six-point lead. Closest they've been since the opening tip. They had cut it to six a little bit ago, but never any closer to that. If they get a uh, shot here, that'll be... A big lift, and that, that's a steal in is not as big a lift as Osborne brings it across the timeline. Samson will stretch out the defense, and my heavens, you do that to find the cutter to the hoop. The cutter to the hoop is Mallory Henderson. Beautiful pass, and Henderson with the finish. This quite a higher scoring of second quarter than the first quarter as Ballard's shot is partially blocked and taken out of the air by Campbell. 
quickly up ahead. Eaton runs into, I believe, uh, that is Kincaid. That is Kincaid. She'll pick up her first, team fourth. And Sydney Kincaid will head to the bench as Leah Ruskin checks in. Just a freshman, number 12. Cut inside and pass to Eaton. Her pass across to Osborne is knocked out of bounds. Nice step in front by Fleener. 57 seconds to go here in the first half. It's an eight-point game. Sampson drops it to Campbell. Campbell gets around. Weatherholt puts it up and in. Haley Campbell is frustrating Leah Weatherholt. Good to see Leah Weatherholt back in, though. She took a spill earlier and uh, left the game for a moment, for a while, as it's back to that 10-point lead. Ballard will take her time with only 35 seconds to go. A near steal. It is taken away by Eaton. She heads down court and overturns it. Lost control of the ball. No shot. As Leah Ruskin had uh, her pocket picked. Mallory Boost checks into the ball game for North Clay. Trying to get guard against a couple players with two fouls, picking up their third. Ballard will take time at the timeline. Osborne steps out on her. She cuts around to the left in some traffic, puts it up and in. Maya Ballard with a 12-point quarter. Time running out, half-court jumper. Oh, that was so close for Allison Sampson, and she knew it. She <laughs> She spun around after taking that shot, landed on her uh, rear end, and was smiling. Boy, she oh, was close. Good first half. The uh, Indians took the lead early. Were able to maintain through the second quarter, as uh, maintain and add to it through the second quarter, as they now lead by eight. We'll take a quick break. Come back, give you some st statistics, and uh, see what else we can come up with here in Louisville as. The Neoga Indians lead the North Clay Lady Cardinals 33-25. Back after these. If you're looking for a loan for your brand new home, call Clay County State Bank. If you want to transfer money so your future will look sunny, call Clay County State Bank. We got checking and savings and bill pay too. In online banking, just ask the group. For all your banking needs, we think you will agree. Clay County For service beyond the surface, call Carter Trucking in Fairfield. Carter's trucks are ready to haul your big freight and grain. So whatever you call Jeremy Carter, the mucho mucho man, the driveway doctor, the gravel guru, the pothole pirate, the rock and redneck, the smooth operator, the mud hole master, or the happy hauler, just call him. 842-2022 to haul your big freight, grain, and more with trucks from Carter Trucking. Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Having car trouble, need a tow, or just some routine maintenance? Butcher Automotive in Louisville has you covered. Locally owned and operated, Butcher Automotive offers complete vehicle repair services along with tire sales and wheel alignment. They're your local hand-cooked tire and interstate battery dealer. Butcher Automotive offers free local pickup and delivery so your car can be repaired while you're at work or at home. Butcher strives to treat everyone's vehicle as their own. At Butcher Automotive, they don't want you to give them your business. They want to earn it. Fashion is our passion at Carnaby Square. We specialize in customer service and have since 1980. Our multi-generational boutique features your favorite on-trend to classic famous maker fashions, footwear, accessories, and a massive inventory at Brighton. So come, relax, explore, and elevate your look with us. Everyone is welcome where we always wrap it, tag it, and bag it for free at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. 
It is all things new at Zimdar's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Appliance Repair. We have a new line of heating and cooling equipment and new technicians. Our new equipment line offers 24 months free financing and excellent warranty coverage. Our experienced service technicians can provide you with quality service and repairs on all brands of HVAC equipment. Zimdar's has been serving Clay County and the surrounding areas for over 23 years. The employees of Zimdar's are here to help, so call local and call Zimdar's. Dedicated, devoted, and driven. The folks at Amy Lee Realty are here to find you the home that you deserve. Born and raised in Clay County and Northern Wayne County, the real estate needs of our area are Amy Lee's expertise. Check out Amy Lee's Facebook page for current promotions or browse local listings at amyleerealty.com. Or if you're looking to buy something new or sell your property, come into Amy Lee Realty in Flora to see what she can do for you. Chapman's Furniture has the best prices every day. You can find them open Monday through Saturday from 9 to 5 and located at 210, 300, and 306 West Main Street in Salem. Chapman's features a full line of furniture, including Ashley Furniture, Bedding by Sealy and Bimco, and the largest selection of rugs in Southern Illinois. They have a huge selection of recliners, including lift and power, and wallpaper and border in stock at closeout prices. Call 618-548-2221 for the best price around. Clay County Hospital is your life-saving connection. We have spent our lives preparing for when you need us. Quality professional care right at home. Our team will support you and your family so you never feel alone. We will make you feel welcome whether you need care, are visiting a loved one, or seeking employment. Clay County Hospital, professional care, compassionate hearts. Hi, my name is Landon Carter and I'm a financial consultant at Benjamin F. Edwards in Flora. Whether you're planning to send a loved one to school, preparing for retirement, or passing your wealth to the next generation, we have the knowledge and perspective to implement financial strategies that will help you move smoothly through life's transitions. Here at Edwards, our clients know that we are fully invested in their financial future. To find out more, Cole Duke and I invite you to give us a call at 618-508-8050. Benjamin F. Edwards, member SIPC. At Clay City Banking Company, we're all on the same team, regardless of zip code. At home, work, school, or across the country, you can be part of our team with our cutting-edge mobile banking products. From your hand, you can check balances, transfer money, make deposits, and pay bills. Looking for a loan? We've got you covered with our mortgage, agriculture, commercial, and consumer loans. Join our team today. Clay City, Floor, Louisville, and Fairfield Banking Companies. We're the hometown banks, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. My grandfather, Carol Rush, opened Rush Appliance in October of 1949. This is Sean Rush, and I am driven by the same determination and commitment to quality that set us on the road to success. A lot has changed in the appliance industry since 1949, but at Rush Appliance, we are doing everything we can to remain trusted, strong, and competitive. We are extremely proud of our roots, and we look forward to providing you with quality and service at Rush Appliance and Furniture Company in downtown Fairfield. Going beyond the expected. It's what they do at Pekin Insurance, and it's been their way of doing business since 1921. It's service that goes the extra mile, and product that provides the flexibility to meet all of today's insurance needs, and tomorrow's as well. Stop by and see the agents at North Wayne Insurance Agency in downtown Flora and Sisney. They will provide the financial protection and peace of mind that you need and deserve. North Wayne Insurance and Pekin, beyond the expected.
Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with a company that lives and works in the same community that you do. This is Aaron Cummins, your local Clay County FS Propane Specialist with South Central FS. South Central is a nine-county cooperative with highly trained employees that are dedicated to providing our residential, commercial, and agricultural customers a safe and reliable propane supply. Contact your local South Central FS Propane Specialist or visit us online at southcentralfs.com. Welcome back here to North Clay High School in Louisville here on Wabash Catch TV. My name is Bruce Dickey. Appreciate you folks tuning in tonight for North Clay uh, High School varsity basketball. Only one game here tonight as uh, the uh, both North Clay and Neoga uh, bet short on players. Uh, here on Wabash Catch TV, again, I'm Bruce Dickey. Abby Springmeyer out in the truck. Mason Hager up there on one of the cameras along with, I believe they said, Morgan Fox on the other camera. So I appreciate you folks tuning in. Uh, Let's tell you a little bit about the first half statistics. For Neoga, they're led here at the half. Haley Campbell's having a great first half. She's got 14 points and uh, has uh, dominated inside. She's very talented, 5 feet, 11-inch senior. Also, uh, six points for Allison Simpson, Uh, four point, three points, Pardon me, five points for Mallory Henderson off the bench. Uh, three points for Bryn Richards. Two points for Gracie Eaton. And uh, three points for Adley Osborne. From the free throw line, Neoga, three for five. They do have some foul issues as uh, Bryn Richards carries three fouls into the second half. And Allison Simpson also with a pair of fouls. For North Clay. Led here at the uh, half by Maya Ballard. Ballard with 14 as well. Four out of four from the line. Five field goals. Had a big second quarter. A 12-point second quarter. Uh, Five points for Alexis Van Dyke. A three and a deuce. Two points for Mattia Price. She's two for four from the line. Two for Sydney Kincaid. She hit a field goal. And two for Ava Fleener. uh, Also a field goal. The Cardinals with nine in the first. 16 in the second. The Indians... 15 in the first and 18 in the second. So defense kind of took a back seat in that second quarter for both squads. As uh, the Indians are out on the court, they're starting five back out there. Bryn Richards, number 10. Allison Sampson, number 22. Gracie Eaton, number 23. Adelie Osborne, number 35. And number 45 is Haley Campbell. For North Clay, they'll send their starting five back out as well. Mattia Price, number two. Alexis Van Dyke, number three. Sydney Kincaid, number four. Leah Weatherholt, number 30. And uh, number 11 is Maya Ballard. As, Nor- as Neoga gets the basketball to start things off here in the second half. And a good defensive play by Leah Weatherholt. As she got a hand on that, and then it went off the hand of Haley Campbell, and the uh, Indians will turn it over. Indians have led by as many as 11. They've led the whole way. North Clay has been able to cut it down to six, but not able to get any closer than that. Weatherholt will fire a three at the top of the key. It's a bit short. And the rebound gathered by North Clay. Alexis Van Dyke a bit long. A rebound put up by Price. No good. Followed by Kincaid. She's partially blocked. Then a traveling violation against Osborne as... Neoga keeps stepping on their own pant leg, and North Clay needs to take advantage. Nice rebounding that trip down the court by the uh, Indians. Pardon me, by the Cardinals. Kincaid out on the left wing, looks inside, doesn't like anything, gets it back out to Maya Ballard. Around to Mattia Price, cuts around the top of the key. Weatherholt heads to the uh, free throw line. Into the corner, Kincaid steps inside against Richards. Well, that is a height disadvantage there. Richards probably about eight inches on Kincaid. Jumper for Kincaid for two is no good. The rebound dragged down by Eaton. Gracie Eaton fires it ahead to Bryn Richards. Down low to Haley Campbell, who puts it up and in. Campbell picking up where she left off. Inside the paint. Having a wonderful game. It's 
Good to see a player who uh, knows their job. She does. Heading to the hoop. Matia Price gets away with a walk but misses the shot. Rebound Campbell. Up ahead. The ball overthrown. Taken away by Ballard. Ballard will head down the middle to the hoop and puts it up and off. No good. That's her bread and butter, too. I'm surprised she missed that. Campbell with a good rebound to bring it out. Allison Sampson across the timeline. Had a lane to the hoop. Leaves it down. Oh, and a nice pass to Eaton. Gracie Eaton puts it up and in, and it's all of a sudden a 12-point lead. 37-25, 5.48 to go here in the third quarter. Bunch of games next week I'll tell you about here at our next break as Weatherholt hits the jumper from about 10. First points of the game for Leah. And that one's knocked away from Eaton. Good pick by Van Dyke and gathered by Kincaid up to Ballard. She thought about the three, looks down low. That ball might have been knocked away and was picked out of the air by Bryn Richards. North Clay having difficulty getting to the hoop against that big, tall Neoga defense. Sampson on the dribble. Picked up by Ballard. Ballard and Sampson have been hustling against each other all night long. To the left side, Eaton drops it for Campbell. Step in front by Van Dyke, and a foul is going to get called on Eaton. Gracie Eaton picks up her first team first here in the third quarter. Mallory Henderson will check back in, replacing Gracie Eaton. Sits down with her second foul. As Matia Price gets away with a walk. She picked up her pivot foot. Jumper from the corner, a little bit long from Fleener. Here come the Indians. Osborne up ahead to Richards. Richards across the timeline, looks up, drops it to Campbell at the free throw line. The give and go works. Oldest play, one of the oldest plays in basketball. And a little cooperation as Alexis Van Dyke heads to the hoop. Her shot rolls off. Rebound brought down by the Indians. Oh, a steal by Van Dyke again, and she can't convert. Alexis has got to be mad at herself. She's missed a couple of bunnies. Pass down to Campbell. Henderson knows where to go, and Campbell knows what to do with it. Timeout on the court with four minutes to go in the third. It's a 14-point game. We'll take it as well. Back after these words. At your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville, you can count on experts to have the solutions to keep you running on the road or in the field. More than just your car, the Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville carry a large inventory of Napa products for farms, heavy trucks, and just about everything that moves. Experienced associates understand your needs and are ready to help with the perfect part at a great value. That's Napa know-how at your locally owned Napa Auto Parts stores in Flora and Louisville. Briscoe Surplus Sales on the northeast edge of Flora is your one-stop do-it-all shop. Looking for rugged boots and footwear from great brands like Lacrosse, Rocky, and Carolina? They're there. How about top-notch small engine parts and service? Briscoe Surplus Sales has it. Whether you're wiring your switches or switching your wiring, Briscoe Surplus Sales has the solution and the know-how to help you get the job done right the first time. Briscoe Surplus Sales, your one-stop do-it-all shop. Like I said on the cameras, Mason Hager and Morgan Cox. Abby Springmeyer out in the truck. As the Cardinals down by 14, need to put a a stop to the streak. Kincaid will try a three. It won't go. Rebound brought down by Ava Fleener. Looks ahead, looks out for Kincaid, finally able to gather by Kincaid. Ballard will settle, and she'll fire for three. It won't go. Rebound brought down by Price. I tell you what, the rebounding has been excellent this half for North Clay. They've been all over the boards. Ballard down the lane puts it up and in. She's fouled. She'll head to the free throw line. That's a big a big pickup as that's going to go against 
Allison Sampson, her third at number two this half. The end one is no good for Ballard. Campbell will bring it across. Outside Richards works against Van Dyke. Looking inside, nobody there. Back out to Haley Campbell. Drops it down to Osborne. Tough shot, won't go. Uh, good defense by Price, forcing her out. Up ahead, Ballard sprints to the hoop, puts it up and in. 14-point lead, down, down to 10. North Clay love to get this down to five or six by the end of the quarter. Jumper from Richards won't go, and uh, Campbell gathers. She'll head to the free throw line as either Kincaid or Fleener got her. Two uh, choices for Terry Chapman to pick from. It will go against Kincaid. That's her first, number one against North Clay this half. Campbell's first trip to the free throw line, what I say, she could do it all. She can do it all. She has 19 of 42. She has 20. She's a good player. 43-31, the lead back to 12. Long pass ahead. To Kincaid, back outside, Fleener. And her pass is stolen away by Richards. The uh, tall one heads to the hoop, has her a shot block. She's fouled, and I think that's going to go against Ballard. It's either Ballard or Kincaid. It is Kincaid. That'll be number three on Sydney. Number two this half, this quarter, against North Clay. Richards, one out of two from the line. One out of three. Next week, Monday, we're up at Dietrich as these uh, Lady Cardinals will head up to Dietrich, take on the moving Maroons. We'll be there, one game only. I believe that'll start at 6 or 6.15. Richards hits one out of two. Then a couple of games on Tuesday night as Flora travels to Fairfield. Jumper from Gwynn is no good. Rebound brought down by Price. North Clay dominating the boards this half. That one from Price, no good. And a uh, traveling violation on Henderson. Like I said, next Tuesday night, Flora is at Fairfield. And Wayne City is at Sisney, the Wayne County War. As it is 44 to 31, a 13 point lead for the Indians. They've led all the way. Ballard out on the dribble. Looks inside, heads to the hoop, drops it out for Fleener through her hands. Osborne brings it across to Richards. She puts it up and in, and she's fouled. Van Dyke will pick up her third, team third, count the hoop. And Richards can score her ninth point from the free throw line. And make it a 16-point lead if she does so. She does not. Uh, and a foul on the rebound is going to go against, I believe that went against Haley Campbell. If so, that's her second. Team foul number three, and that is number two against Campbell. Price brings it across. Fleener back out on top. Gwynn. Ball's knocked away from her and plucked away by Ballard. Nearly a double dribble into the corner and a traveling violation as Matia Price trying to get her feet ready. Minute and a half to go here in the third. Indians across with it. Pass intended for Campbell, knocked away. Richards able to track it down. They look into the corner. Osborne thought about the three, didn't like it. Gets it back out to Henderson, who has to track it down. Oh, a nice 
Yeah, that was an offensive foul by Haley Campbell. She picks up her third as uh, she just gave a really good shove. That was a pretty easy one. Raised her arms, and that's a no-no. That means she's getting tired. Coach Romack takes her out as uh, those last couple of fouls were lack of concentration. Under a minute to go here in the third. High arcing jumper, jumper from Ava Fleener will not go. Rebound to Osborne. Up to Eaton. Eaton across the timeline. Nearly left the uh, basketball back. She's a senior. And a near steal. As Henderson heads to the hoop, lays it up, it won't go. Rebound a loose. The gather, the follow, no good from Callie Reynolds and a held ball. So North Clay will have it down by 15 with 29 seconds to go here in quarter number three. Mallory Boos checks in for North Clay. North Clay student section quite a bit smaller than they usually are for uh, the girls games. As a bump. That foul will go against Bryn Richards, and that's her fourth. Team foul number five. Now you are seeing the new rules in action. As Carly Gwynn on the fifth foul heads to the free throw line for two shots. Last year, she would have missed that shot. If she would have missed that shot, it would have been rebound and Everybody fighting for the boards and heading the other way or the offensive rebound. Missed them both. And a held ball. It will be Indians ball with 19 seconds to go. Ballard able to get in there and force a possession change. 46-31. And it comes to Eaton. Gracie Eaton up ahead. Adley Osborne. Drops it down low for Allison Sampson. Sampson looking inside. Nobody there. Four seconds to go. Pass knocked away. It's still loose, and that'll do it. Oh, they're going to a held ball with 8.8 .8 seconds to go, and that's going to cost North Clay a possession. So Ballard will probably try to get it into Van Dyke or Price for a long three-pointer. It's Van Dyke. Oh, off the rim. That close. After three, Neoga leads North Clay. 46-31. Back after these. If you're looking for a loan for your brand new home, call Clay County State Bank. If you want to transfer money so your future will look sunny, call Clay For service beyond the surface, call Carter Trucking in Fairfield. Carter's trucks are ready to haul your big freight and grain. So whatever you call Jeremy Carter, the mucho mucho man, the driveway doctor, the gravel guru, the pothole pirate, the rock and redneck, the smooth operator, the mud hole master, or the happy hauler, just call him. 842-2022 to haul your big freight, grain, and more with trucks from Carter Trucking. Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Eight minutes remaining in the contest. It's 46 to 31 in favor of Neoga. North Clay running out of time. Osborne, Sampson, Eaton, Campbell back in, and Mallory Henderson for the Indians as they get the basketball to start things off here in the fourth. Van Dyke nearly another steal, but it's collected by Henderson. Sampson picks up her dribble in a tough spot, gets it back out to Campbell. Campbell works against Weatherholt. And she finds herself a, a lane to the hoop. Weatherholt fell down. 
And the easiest two of the night there for Haley Campbell. Matia Price will fire at the top of the key. It's no good. A rebound brought down by the Indians. Sampson, quick pass up ahead. Jumper for Eaton, no good. Rebound Henderson. She's a worker. She puts it up. It won't go. Rebound to Osborne, and she can't follow. On the board, Kincaid gets fouled, and I think that's going to go against Osborne. It does. Allie Osborne picks up her first. That is team first this quarter. Who's in foul trouble? Alexis Van Dyke has three. Sidney Kincaid has three. Price with two. Those are the North Clay foul trouble. A little bit worse foul trouble on Neoga's side. As Bryn Richards with four. Allison Sampson with three. And Haley Campbell with three. The uh, spinner is good up and in. For Maya Ballard. She now has 20. Long pass up ahead to Eaton. Back to Campbell. Over to Henderson. As Campbell was looking for the give and go, never got it back, and that's a turnover traveling against Mallory Henderson. Six and a half to go in the game. It's a 15-point lead. North Clay has trailed Neoga at all the stops. Jumper from Ballard, no good, as uh, Neoga scored the first eight points of the game before North Clay got on the board. Fell behind 12-2. Jumper for Campbell is good. Haley Campbell's got 24. And that, I told you, folks, I was uh, looking for an outside shot. That was a 15-footer free throw. That was gorgeous. And a turnover, unforced error. Kincaid's pass over to Van Dyke gets away. Weatherholt, Price, and Ballard also on the court for North Clay, the starting five. Back in the game for the Cardinals. Sampson across the timeline. Starting five back in the game for the Indians. Nice pass down low to Osborne. She puts it up and in. It's a snap pass down to Adley Osborne. Weatherholt has it knocked away. Those big long arms of Bryn Richards, very effective. And then it's knocked away from Campbell. Van Dyke sprints the other way, sprints to the east side and hits the three. Eight for Van Dyke, cuts the lead to 16. Drop pass from Campbell to Richards, and that's a pretty one. The give and go again. Richards now with 10. Five minutes to go in the game. Off to the left wing. Price nearly threw it away, but Van Dyke collects the uh, errant pass. Three-pointer won't go. Rebound Richards, and it's knocked off the leg of Maya Ballard out of bounds. It will remain Neoga basketball up by 18. Neoga outscored North Clay 15-9 in the first, 18-16 in the second, 13-6 in the third. That's the one that really put... The Cardinals behind the eight ball. And they've outscored them 8-5 here in the fourth. Ball knocked away from Reynolds. And stolen by Ballard. She heads down, lays it up and in. Timeout on the court with four and a half to go. We'll take it as well. And we'll be back after these words. Having car trouble, need a tow, or just some routine maintenance? Butcher Automotive in Louisville has you covered. Locally owned and operated, Butcher Automotive offers complete vehicle repair services along with tire sales and wheel alignment. They're your local hand-cooked tire and interstate battery dealer. Butcher Automotive offers free local pickup and delivery so your car can be repaired while you're at work or at home. Butcher strives to treat everyone's vehicle as their own. At Butcher Automotive, they don't want you to give them your business. They want to earn it. 
Fashion is our passion at Carnaby Square. We specialize in customer service and have since 1980. Our multi-generational boutique features your favorite on-trend to classic famous maker fashions, footwear, accessories, and a massive inventory of Brighton. So come, relax, explore, and elevate your look with us. Everyone is welcome where we always wrap it, tag it, and bag it for free at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. Fifty-four thirty-eight with four and a half minutes to go in the contest. Neoga with a 16-point lead, led by as many as 19. Osborne to Sampson, and the foul in backcourt going to go against Alexis Van Dyke. And that's number four on Van Dyke, number one this quarter against the, the Cardinals. Callie Reynolds will head back to the bench as the starters are all back in now for the Indians. Quick pass ahead to uh, Bryn Richards. Back outside, Osborne for three. It's a little bit short. Rebound to Van Dyke. She weaves through traffic across the timeline. Nearly has it stolen away. Three, a fake three on the way as Ballard moves in, puts up an eight-footer. Will not go. Osborne with the rebound. Four minutes to go in the game. Quickly up to Sampson. And uh, she puts it up and over. Kincaid for the score. Sampson now with eight. I have been given the JV score from Salem, and it's sizable. As uh, Breeze Central beat Salem's JV 63-21. Nice pass inside to Kincaid, and she gets... Hacked on the ground. That looks like that's going to go against Adley Osborne. It will. Osborne's second team foul number two this quarter. Both of them coincidentally against Adley Osborne. Like I said, next week we all have these same North Clay Cardinals on Monday night at Dietrich. And it comes to Matia Price around to Kincaid. Sydney Kincaid misses the long three. Rebound on the ground off the hands of Campbell. Check that off the hands of North Clay. It'll be Indians basketball. North Clay into that zone press. Indians able to get around it. Up ahead to Oz, or pardon me, to Eaton, to the side, Sampson's jumper, no good. Ballard with a lane to the hoop. She heads there, puts it up and in. 24 now for Maya Ballard. As she and uh, Campbell are battling for game point supremacy. Another steal by Ballard. Throws it back to uh, Price. Drops it across. Ballard up and in. 26 for Ballard. Out of 42. Long pass up ahead to Sampson. Two and a half minutes to go in the game. Sampson's three-pointer is well long. Inside to Campbell. And they're going to call offensive foul on Campbell. Ava Fleener taking the charge. Campbell picks up her fourth, number three, against Neoga. Leads down to 14. Is there enough time for North Clay to get back in? They're probably uh, going to need some threes. Ballard looking at Sampson into the corner. Three on the way from Kincaid is off the iron. Long rebound, Gracie Eaton for Neoga. Fires it ahead, but well far, well long intended for Haley Campbell. Campbell's a good player. She's 5'11". She needed to be about 6'11 to catch that one. Under two minutes to go. Conference matchup here. Three on the way. No good from Ballard. I believe it's the first conference game for either of these squads. No, North Clay played. They played last week, didn't they? 
That foul goes against Ballard. Her first. Wow. For as, as aggressive as she plays, she's able to hold off on the fouls tonight. She's all over Sampson. You'll say she ain't going to hold off very long. There's foul number two. Foul number three against the Cardinals. And timeout taken by North Clay with 143 to go. Down by 14. We'll take it as well. Back after this word. It is all things new at Zimdar's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Appliance Repair. We have a new line of heating and cooling equipment and new technicians. Our new equipment line offers 24 months free financing and excellent warranty coverage. Our experienced service technicians can provide you with quality service and repairs on all brands of HVAC equipment. Zimdar's has been serving Clay County and the surrounding areas for over 23 years. The employees of Zimdar's are here to help, so call local and call Zimdar's. 143 to go in the contest. North Clay trying to avoid an 0 and 2 start in conference play. I believe this is the first game for Neoga. They're trying to get to a 1 and 0 start. As the pass comes into Campbell. That foul's going to go against Ava Fleener. That'll be her first, team's fourth. And with the next foul, Neoga will head to the free throw line. Do they want to foul Bryn Richards? Van Dyke really doesn't have a foul to spare. Campbell hacked out on top by Ballard. Ballard trying to take it away. That's team foul number five. And Haley Campbell will head to the free throw line for a pair where she is already two for two and a chance to get back into the uh, to tie for the lead for the game, game high. Off the back iron. She has seven, 11 field goals. The senior from Neoga takes her time. Misses the second one, misses them both. Two for four from the line now. Quickly across the Cardinals. Ballard heads to the hoop, lays it in. She's got 28. And a steal. Kincaid across the ballot. She's got 30. Timeout on the court with 114 to go. It's a 10-point game. Will miracles never cease? Timeout on the court. Back after this word. Throwing it in for Neoga will be Adley Osborne. Number 35. As it comes to Campbell, and it's knocked away by Fleener. The ball remains in the possession of Neoga. Ten points different with just over a minute to go, and a steal by Ballard. Chance to cut it down to single digits. Inside, Price up and in. Matia Price with her first field goal of the night. Cuts it to eight. Across with it, Sampson. Trapped. And she's going to be fouled. Is it Van Dyke or Ballard? If it's Ballard, she stays in the game. If it's Van Dyke, she's done. That will be Ballard. That is her fourth. She's picked them all up here in the fourth quarter. And Allison Sampson will head to the free throw line. for the first time tonight. You could tell she wanted to be the one fouled. Very comfortable looking up there, 15 feet centered on from the rim. And she hit them both. 
Ten points now for Sampson. Back to a ten-point game under a minute to go. Into the corner. Kincaid out to Ballard. Took it away from Price. Heads to the hoop. Puts it up. It falls off. Rebound Campbell. And a held ball. It will be North Clay basketball on the alternating possession. Ballard nearly picked up her fifth foul. That's dangerous held ball. In to Price. Sets for three. Just short. Rebound. And a traveling violation on Bryn Richards. Another break for the Cardinals. Ten-point lead, ten-point deficit with 35 seconds to go. They need some threes. Ballard heads to the hoop. She's going to go to the line for two. I believe Sampson got her. Sampson picks up her fourth. Team foul number four, so both teams will be shooting the rest of the way. Ballard back to the line where she is four out of six now. Ballard with 13 field goals, four for six from the line. Four for seven, missed them both, and a foul is going to go against Osborne. That'll be the fifth team foul, so it's going to send Ballard back to the free throw line as Adley Osborne picks up her third. Neoga's best friend is the clock, and uh, it's been slowed down here lately as Ballard misses her fourth free throw in a row. She hit her first four, missed her next four. Walks off the line. Says, I got to put the, my mind back straight here. Hits the second. And now has 31. 58 49. Richards in trouble in backcourt. Osborne up ahead to Campbell. Down low to, uh, to Eaton and back out to Sampson. Van Dyke and Ballard all over. The ball knocked out of bounds. No foul. As Sampson gets up, saying, I don't want to hit again like that. Her hips hurt there, it looks like. And it comes to Richards, and she dribbles it out of bounds. Had the ball knocked away. North Clay still, still fighting with only 10 seconds to go. Somehow not going to foul anybody out. Across Price, into the corner, Kincaid outside Ballard. She'll fire from the free throw line, and that will do it. The uh, Neoga Indians defeat the North Clay Lady Cardinals 58-49. to They improve to 5-1 and one in conference. North Clay falls to 4-4 four and four overall and 0-2. Oh in conference play, Neoga improves to five and one overall, and like I said, one and zero oh in conference play. Uh, a, a fun ball game to watch, and I'll finish the uh, uh, statistics here. I'm ready to go for the uh, Neoga Indians. A fine game for uh, Haley Campbell. She finishes with 24 points, two out of four from the free throw line, 11 field goals, an outstanding game for uh, the, uh, the the big in the middle. A couple of players with 10 apiece as uh, Bryn Richards finishes with 10. Four field goals, two out of four from the line. And 10 points also for Allison Sampson as uh, she had four field goals and two for two from the free throw line. Five points for Adley Osborne. A couple of field goals, one out of two from the free throw line. And five points for Mallory Henderson off the bench. A nice evening for her. A one for one from the line with a couple of field goals. Overall from the line, Neoga goes, uh, let's do the math, eight for 14 from the free throw line. They had quarters 15, 18, 16, and 12. 15, 18, 16, and 12. For North Clay, led tonight by Maya Ballard. 
big night for Ballard. She went uh, five out of nine from the free throw line, and she had 13 field goals for 31 points, the only player to get into double digits for North Clay. Uh, Alexis Van Dyke finishes with eight points, hit a couple of threes and a deuce. Also uh, four points for Mattia Price, two for four from the free throw line with a field goal. Two points apiece on a field goal for Sydney Kincaid, a field goal for Leah Weatherholt, and a field goal for Ava Fleener. Again, next week we'll have these North Clay Cardinals on Monday night at Dietrich. I believe that game time is 6 6 o'clock or 6.15. Just check your TV. You'll find it. We'll be there on Monday night. Then Tuesday night, a couple of games. Boys games on Tuesday night. Flora in Fairfield and Wayne City in Sisney. Then on Thursday night next week, it'll be Carmi at Flora in girls basketball. One game uh, on Thursday night or one one uh, crew for us. Two, true, two crews on Friday as Columbia heads to Salem. And Bloomington Central Catholic plays in T-Town. We'll be in Teutopolis for that one next week. A huge week of action upcoming for you here on Wabash Catch TV. That's just about going to do it for us here tonight from North Clay. For Mason Hager, for Morgan Cox, and for Abby Springmeyer out in the car, thank you so much for watching Wabash Catch TV's presentation of high school basketball. For all of us at Wabash Catch TV, my name is Bruce Dickey, reminding you tonight's final score, Neoga defeats North Clay 58-49. So long from Louisville.